Hey everybody, Key Player 61 welcome back to our greenhouse. Uh, our third video here, ever. And uh, what we're going to do today is uh, show you how I mix up the nutrient mix for the Dutch buckets and pretty much everything else, the cracky system, everything else that we have in here. Um, just the way I do it, uh, works very well. So I'm going to take you through the steps and hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, this is what we have here. Uh, I'm hoping you guys can see that okay. I've got, I do have the buckets labeled uh, for each particular nutrient that we use. I'm using the uh, 41838. this bucket right here tomato special uh, you can get this at uh, I got this from Morgan County Seeds um, probably one of the best places I've seen to get these, these particular nutrients um, and then on this, this bucket over here we have calcium nitrate which is 15500 uh, and then the uh, just regular Epsom salts that we just get at Sam's Wholesale club, or you can get it at Walmart, or about anywhere. It's, it's very common. It's just regular Epsom salt, which gives you the calcium and magnesium that you need. And um, all this stuff, this stuff that lasts a while. I, I decided to go this route. Uh, I actually have the screw on the tops here. Uh, you can get these at uh, Home Depot. They actually have a O-ring on the inside. That uh, seals them up real good, so we keep the humidity out, keep, them, keep the stuff good and fresh. Because when you order this stuff, it comes in bags. Uh, like the 41838 comes in like uh, 25 pound bags, and the uh, calcium nitrate comes in 50 pound bags. Um, of course, the, the 25 pound bag, you're not going to have no trouble at all getting that stuff in this bucket, this five gallon bucket. You're not going to quite get all of the 50 in that bucket there, but. Uh, what I did, since you typically split the nutrients up the same way, except with the exception of the Epsom salt, uh, since we're doing 12 grams, 12 grams, and 6 grams, um, I went ahead and got two 25 pounds of the 41838 tomato special, and then uh, just one 50 pound bag of the calcium nitrate. Since I'm, since I'm using the same amount of ground equally, that made sense to me to go ahead and just get the same poundage because eventually, sooner or later, you're going to wind up with it about right anyway. Um, and this stuff goes a long ways, I'm here to tell you. Even though uh, the tomato plants are probably going through about um, roughly three gallons a day each, um, I have to usually have to, I have to replenish my 27-gallon nutrient tank about every three days. Uh, it gets down to just where, just right where it's uncovering the pump. So, uh, but even so, you you use this stuff and you make a lot of it, but it, it doesn't seem like it drops very quickly. So, uh, worthwhile investment considering what you're getting, you know, and the results that you're getting with it. So, um, okay, and then we'll we'll move on to the next step here. All right, folks, what we got here is a bunch of highly scientific things here that we use to mix this stuff with as you can see three red solo cups marked appropriately master blend 41838 Epsom salt calcium nitrate uh, this helps to keep up with what I do when I when I put one of these things on the scale and I go ahead and dump it in the bucket and then I stack the one into the other. That way, I don't. If I get interrupted while I'm doing this, I won't forget what I dumped into the water. Um, and then on the left-hand side, I have a just a very inexpensive gram scale. I think we got this at Amazon. And uh, we'll show you how to use it. Okay, as you see there, we have us a nice clean five-gallon bucket of water. I'll show you where I get this water. I keep two 40 gallon barrels in here that I keep airstone in because uh, unfortunately I live 
acidic water and uh, you don't want that chlorine and all in the water so uh, I'm going to put your air stone in there and boil that chlorine out It'll take it about you know I, I, I'll make sure I don't even use mine before 24 hours one good thing about it this water even though it is city water it's a uh, very good quality I've, I've tested it myself and I mean it's uh, the pH is uh, about neutral on it which is hard to believe uh, used to be off the scale uh, it's, it was ridiculous but uh, uh, now it's a uh, it's, it's hovering right in there about 7.0 which is neutral uh, by the time you get your, uh, your nutrient mix in there now your pH is going to drop so you want to keep that in mind if you uh, by the time you get your nutrient mix mixed up if you don't have it between uh, usually I deal with 5.8 to 6.2 something like that you can go out of 5 I've run mine low as 5.5 don't have any problem with it at all um, but you can look for it to drop because it will. Uh, you don't want your pH too high or it drastically too low. But uh, too high is worse than being too low in this kind of situation. So just keep that in mind. And we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys. We're gonna start off here. We got our Master Blend 41838 Solo Cup, highly scientific. We can go over here to our bucket. First, we're going to set this on the scale, and these things uh, weigh 12 grams each. They've been very consistent, so keep that in mind to use this method. <laughs> I'm just going to turn her on, and we're zeroed out, and we're just going to sprinkle this in. And you got to watch it because when you first start doing this, see now uh, I went just a little bit over. Okay, that put us dead on 12 grams right there. And I'm going to turn around and dump this in the water. And I'm going to stack that off to the side. And next we have the Epsom salt. Which is your calcium magnesium. I hope y'all can hear me though with that fan. I actually forgot to cut it off. It was getting awful hot in here. We're going to do six grams of Epsom salt. Okay. And we're going to dump that in our, in our five gallon bucket. And we'll just set that off to the side. That way I do it that way because if something happens, I get distracted. I'll know what I've already done. And then we're going to set the calcium nitrate up there. Go with our calcium nitrate, and this stuff is a little heavier than some of the rest of it, so it doesn't take very much to get 12 grams. Hmm, got a little shaky on that last one. I only do this pretty good. If I wasn't shooting video, I wouldn't be having this problem. Sometimes if you go one gram over, it's not really going to hurt nothing that bad. But as long as we're showing you how to do it, I'll show you how to do it right. Okay, now we're on 12 right there. And we're going to turn around and put this in all the right. Try to get any particle left over out of the cup if you can because it will it can throw your scale off. And we're gonna put the lid back on and go to mixing. Yeah, all I do this is highly scientific as well. I just use a paint stick. I'll stick it down in here. Serves it real good. Now one thing I want to mention about the calcium nitrate Everything else, the Epsom salt and the Master Blend 41838 will dissolve pretty quickly in this water. The calcium nitrate wants to be a little stubborn, so before you dump this in your reservoir, you want to make sure that everything is dissolved. So I usually let it 
give it a good stir there for a minute. Let it calm down. It dissolve, soften up a little bit. Then we'll stir it again. And swish around the bottom real good. Make sure you got all them granules stirring around in the water. It looks like we've got that stirred up pretty good, dissolved. See a few little particles trying to hang around in the middle of the tornado right there, so we'll kick it a little bit. Just try to get it as much as you can. Because you don't want anything that's not dissolved. And if it's not dissolved, then it's, it's not in your nutrient mix. So. I'm going to try to get it as best you can. And once you've done that, you are ready to use it for whatever use you want to use it for. Um, I usually keep some extra on hand to use in between. Uh, normally, when I mix this up, if I'm mixing up for, say, my tomato reservoir, I will, uh, I'll mix a double batch. In other words, 24, 24, and 12 in a five gallon bucket of water, get it dissolved good and pour it in the reservoir. And then I will uh, add another five gallons of water to that in the reservoir. And sometimes with the tomatoes, tomatoes are very thirsty. They take up a lot of water, so they're, they're gonna take a lot of your water up and leave, leave a lot of your nutrients in the tank. So you gotta keep that in mind. 